My van's newest upgrade is like a solar panel sandwich and it's genius. Let me show you why. Today is the day. We are getting ready to upgrade my solar array and it was all dad's idea. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. After four months of living on the road in my self-converted 2021 Ford Transit camper van, I decided that I needed to increase my power gain. In today's video, watch as my dad and I upgrade my solar array by 50% with the use of a set of drawer slides, a linear actuator, a relay remote, and some head scratching, but we did it. Let's jump into it. And the drawer slides are on. And then these will get mounted here. One of the challenges that we faced with this solar array upgrade was the fact that when we did a dry run of putting this solar sandwich stack on the top of the van, that the holes for the roof rack didn't quite align with the U-channel. So we had to take the whole thing off and then what dad decided to do would be the best solution was we bought three 36 inch, eighth inch wide metal bars and he mounted them directly to the solar panel, then the drawer slides, and then the U-channel. Was a great solution, it gave us exactly what we needed, and now we can finally put the solar panel up on the roof rack. I am so excited. I can hang on this. No, Let don't. Let me hang on it. No, don't. Guys, we're going to have a double-decker solar panel thanks to Dad's ingenuity and YouTube yeah, University. You. There she goes. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty freaking awesome. So cool. I'll have 750 watts of solar on my roof. Dad's putting the linear actuator on the lower sliding solar panel. Here's the relay remote switch that we decided to use. I'll put a link to it and everything else that we purchased for this project down in the description.
Chad's putting the fuse in for the linear actuator, which we're getting ready to test. It's in. You built it. Oh, you do it. You should do it. You should do it. All right, we're activating the linear actuator for the first time. Ooh, can you guys see that? You see it there? They're slow. They are all slow from what I've seen. It's working, y'all. It's working. High five. The cable's finally here. Any of the red snippers? Yes, sir. We used a solar cable gland to route the wire for the linear actuator, as well as the solar panel through the roof. <laughs> Butyl. Dad's using butyl tape to secure the cable gland to the roof, and then he'll apply Dicor over top. He tidied up the cords with zip ties. Now he's adding Dicor, and it never hurts to add a lot. It's time to attach the second solar panel to the U channel. Are you getting some in there? Yep. I purchased a second MPPT solar charge controller since the bottom panel will be shaded when it's not deployed. We're getting ready to install this dual post on the Lynx distributor right there. Right now there's only one. We're gonna replace that and then we can fire up the solar again. <laughs> what? what is that? Watch your noggin on this corner. Why didn't you sand it at an angle? Why didn't you? You installed it. Here we are crimping and heat shrinking one of the lugs. We're using a hydraulic crimper that I bought when I had to replace my DC to DC charger while I was on the road. It's amazing. It beats the hammer type if you've ever used one of those. Dad's mounting the second MPPT charge controller. Then we'll hook up all the wires, test the system and make sure it all works. Everything's connected and it's working. The batteries are at 100%, so we turned all the things on and we are checking to make sure it's working. And it is. Were you guys as fearful as I was when we were <laughs> just trying to lug that gigantic heavy solar panel sandwich up on the roof. I guess it wasn't quite a sandwich yet, but pretty darn close. It was so heavy and my dad and I were struggling, but we did it. And I'm so glad that we did because I think this is going to be a game changer for me. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video. It helps this channel tremendously, as do all of the likes and the subscribes and the comments. I try to respond to all of your comments. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. I'll see you guys next week. Take good care.